Cinderella dressing up. When it starts to kiss the frog, they mistake and kiss the snake. How many doctors did it take? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Every year, thousands of kids wind up in the hospital like this little girl. She was hit by a car. But there are a few simple rules that can help you to always walk safely. We're here to talk about pedestrian accidents, the kind of accident that happens when someone who is walking is hit by a car. Did you know that these accidents happen more often to kids than to any other group of people? But it doesn't have to be that way. In this film, we're going to look at some different kinds of accidents involving kids in cars. In each situation, you'll see someone doing something that is not safe. When you see someone doing something that is not safe, try to remember it. So when this movie is over, you can discuss it. Ready? Here's the first situation. Green light! Red light! Green light! Red light! Here comes a kid with some important news. Hey, you guys, the captain said kitten. What? Kitten. Who the hell kitten? My cat. Come on over. This accident should not have happened. You probably already know why. There are three simple rules that can help you to always walk safely. One, always stop at the curb before crossing the street. Two, always look up to the left, down to the right, and up to the left again. Three, always wait until you know it's safe and walk quickly across the street while still looking out for traffic. Now let's see the right way to do it. Hey you guys, my cat says hi kitten. Kitten! Who has kitten? My cat, come on over. Always stop at the curb. Imagine there is a stop sign at any curb, whether there is or not. Always look up to the left, down to the right, then up to the left again. Always wait until it is safe. Then walk quickly across, keeping an eye out for traffic. Did you know that parked cars can be dangerous? Well, they can. So can thick bushes and shrubbery. When you cross the street in front of parked cars or thick bushes, you make it impossible for a driver to see you. Watch. what this girl did wrong? She quickly looked both ways, but there were parked cars that blocked her view. She couldn't see the car coming down the street, and the driver couldn't see her. Let's take a look at what she should have done. When you cross between parked cars, stop at the curb first. Look into the cars to make sure a driver isn't getting ready to pull out. If it's safe, Step up the curb and walk to the outer edge of the parked car. Stop at the outside edge and then look up to the left, look down to the right, 
then up to the loft again. Wait until it is safe. Only when you know it is safe, walk quickly across the street while still watching out for traffic. Now lots of kids think that just because they're crossing at a crosswalk with a traffic signal, that they don't have to stop at the curb or look in all directions or wait until it's safe. But that just isn't true. Even if you're at a crosswalk, even if you have a traffic signal with a walk light, you still have to be careful. Watch these kids and see if they do something wrong. They crossed properly with the walk signal, but the driver ran the red light. They got into trouble because they didn't follow the rules we've been talking about. They were stopped at the curb, but they didn't look in all directions, and they didn't wait until it was safe. Now let's see the right way to do it. Like we keep saying, the only safe way to cross the street is to stop. Look up to the left, down to the right, then up to the left again. And at an intersection like this one, you must also watch for cars making turns. If you have a walk, don't walk signal. Cross only when it says walk, even if you have a green light. If you only have a traffic signal, always wait until it's green, and only cross after looking in all directions. A lot of accidents happen to kids around ice cream trucks. Let's take a look and see how this kind of accident happens. Bubblegum pop here has bubblegum in it. Did you figure out what that girl did wrong? This situation is a lot like the one involving parked cars. When you're buying something from an ice cream truck, people driving cars can't see you because often you're hidden by the truck. Step to the edge of the truck just like you would if you were crossing the street with parked cars. Stop, look up to the left, down to the right, then up to the left again. Don't get so involved in eating your ice cream that you aren't paying attention to the traffic. Wait till you're safely back in your yard to enjoy it. Whenever you and a driver of a car can't see one another, the situation can be dangerous. Have you ever found yourself doing something like this? Here's another situation where you and the driver of a car can't see one another. Watch! Did you figure out what that girl did wrong? Let's take a look at the right way to cross the street in this situation. Just like with a parked car, an ice cream truck, or a bus. Don't get into situations where you can't see the vehicles coming in your direction and the drivers can't see you. When you cross in front of stopped cars, stop at the outer fender of every car. Look to see if there are any cars coming in the next traffic lane. If there are, Make sure they stop before you continue across. You've just seen how most accidents involving kids and motor vehicles happen. Accidents like these happen hundreds of times every day. And you've also seen how to prevent them from happening. There's a couple of other good rules to remember as well. Always walk on the sidewalk rather than the street. 
but if there is no sidewalk, walk facing the traffic. Never play in the street or even near the curb. It's just as safe. And if you have to walk at night, wear white or shiny reflective clothing. That way the drivers can see you. The most important thing to remember when crossing any street is this. Always stop at the curb. Imagine there is a stop sign at any curb, whether there is or not. Always look up to the left, down to the right, then up to the left again. Always wait until it is safe. Then walk quickly across, keeping an eye out for traffic. That's right. Never run into the street. That's how most accidents happen. You don't have enough time to see the vehicles that might be coming, and drivers don't have time to see you and stop. And when you have to cross between parked cars or in front of a bus or an ice cream truck, remember, walk to the edge of that vehicle and stop. Look in all directions to make sure it's safe before crossing. That way you'll avoid ending up here in the hospital. Yeah, and that way you'll always walk safely. Thank <laughs> you.